Hello everyone, welcome back to the videos. It is wonderful to have you guys here again as always. Today in this video, I am gonna continue the assembly of my Ecotech V6. Um, so as you saw in the last video, we measured all the main oil clearances and we measured all the big end oil clearances. Um, the mains were good enough, but the big ends were all a little loose. Um, there's not really anything I can do about it without either resizing the rods, which they've already been resized once. I'm not keen on doing that again. Then I'm still stuck with the same bearings anyway, and I'll probably have the same problem. Um, or get a new crank, send it away, have it balanced, linished, and go back to a standard size bearing. <sighs> the extra half of our oil clearance that it's got is probably not going to be the end of the world but there's not a lot I can do about it without doing one of those two things and either them I'm not really interested in doing right now so essentially I'm just going to reassemble it and hope for the best I'll probably run some slightly thicker oil in it which I was already doing anyway and then um, go from there if it does become a problem then I have a lack of oil pressure or wipes out a big end bearing, then I'll I'll tear it all apart and deal with it then. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get the block, all the caps out of it, and then we'll go ahead, I'll give the crank another clean, we'll get the crank in, we'll get them torqued down, and then we'll start smashing the rods and pistons one by one. Alright, that's it. It's the crank installed. Turns nice and freely, which is a good sign. Got a little bit of thrust there. Sweet. Okay, on to rods and pistons, I guess. Well, that's it. So, I went and popped them all in off camera, um, just because there's some secret squirrel stuff going on on there. 
So probably just a short little video of this thing going back together, but that's it. She is all back together, ready to go. I'm pretty excited. This may be the time where it uh, it fails. This time around, maybe I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't. Um, like I said, that uh, that big end oil clearance was a little bit concerning. I'll just see how it goes with some thicker oil. And if I feel like it's going to start becoming a problem, I'll just pull it all back down again. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Turns over nicely. It doesn't take much effort at all. I can just get it to move, I think, by hand. Yeah, see? Just because of all the rings and the oil and everything. Once she runs, runs in, that will loosen up. But yeah, anyway. That's going to be it for me in this video guys if you guys want to see me um have a go and probably fail at uh filming and playing some video games head over to my new channel cheese for dinner gaming um i've dedicated it to trying to take a couple of hours off every couple of weeks and play a bit of video games and i figured i'll make some videos out of it at the same time if you guys are interested anyway this shit box is coming back together um few bits and pieces left to go in the next video we'll get the heads on get the lifters and rockers and all that stuff and push rods in I may have to change one of the push rod lengths as I mentioned in the last video not the last video but the video before last when I put the heads together um, but yeah I'll cross that bridge when I get to it but anyway progress is happening thank you all for watching don't forget, unleash the boost, see you to the world, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.